So how do you prepare yourself before praying the rosary? Well, Jennifer, I suppose no two people pray the same way. But I think one excellent way is to begin with an act of contrition. And I always follow it with a prayer to the Holy Spirit. And of course, we, to make a firm resolve not to be distracted. Of course, we're going to be distracted. <laughs> We've lost our preternatural gifts, and God knows that. And I think sometimes if we pray so easily, that's God's gift to us. And if we're distracted and we uh, just continue anyway, that's our gift to God, and He knows it. And of course, we should never think, oh, I'm so distracted, I just can't pray now. No, because then we have let the devil win. Just persevere. And of course, if we're not used to praying the Holy Rosary, especially the children, begin with one decade and really pray the Rosary. Don't just say the Rosary and meditate about what's going on in that particular decade. Pope St. Paul VI said that without contemplation, the Rosary is just a body without a soul. What are some ways that we can become more contemplative or to go deeper in prayer with the Lord when praying the Rosary? Well, Jennifer, it always comes to my mind that when we're praying the Holy Rosary, we're visiting with Jesus and our Blessed Mother, and we're visiting with each other, with our friends, with our family, with our associates. We get to know them, and we get to love them. And that's what happens when we pray the Holy Rosary. We get to know Jesus and our Blessed Mother so deeply and so well. And of course, to know Jesus and our Blessed Mother is to love them. <laughs> it's automatic. <laughs> Mostly, it saves us. It helps save our souls. Why is the Holy Rosary such an important devotion? Well, for very many reasons, Jennifer. We can just touch upon it lightly, really. And as our Blessed Mother said in Fatima in 1917, and I'm quoting, say the Rosary every day to obtain peace for the world. Well, I can't imagine what we need more than measure of a prayer life as if it's growing into virtue. And I, think, I, I do think there's a carryover. People begin to wear the brown scapular, because we've heard that, and pray the Holy Rosary. And then um, that's, you know, if we're close to our Blessed Mother, we will automatically be close to Jesus. She just, that's the way it happens. That's all she wants to do is take us to Jesus. She's the surest and the nicest way to Jesus.